Okay, thanks for the opportunity to talk in this important meeting. I'm grateful to the organizers on behalf of my school and in my name. I will present the staging, prognosis, and follow-up in cutaneous melanoma. I have no disclosures. This is my hospital located in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We have, uh, and this is part of my team, we have 880 beds, and the surgical department has 140. We perform 600 surgeries per year and about 6,000 appointments. The next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, the melanoma epidemiology was talking. Uh, Brazil have a low incidence, as you know, as you see. 6,000 cases per year and 2,000 deaths in my hospital. Uh, dermatologists, plastic surgeons, and head and neck surgeons treat this disease. There were about 600 cases in the last 20 years in my hospital. The majority of these cases are in early stages, but head and neck surgeons uh, treat the most complex and difficult cases. Uh, stage 2B and over it. There were 33 cases in the last 20 years in my hospital. Okay, a staging system must be, as you know, simple, practical, and reflect the prognosis of the patient. Detailed analysis of largest databases has allowed the correlation between clinical and pathological parameters with long-term outcome. About 39,000 melanomas patients of the AGCC, Melanoma Staging Database, were used to do the ENM 7th edition in 2010. And I use this data, some of this data, for my presentation. The prognostic factors that affect the staging are the primary tumor, the lymph node involvement, and the distant metastasis. First, in primary tumor, the histological factors incorporated to 2010 TNM were thickness, mitosis rate, and ulceration. Second, the lymph node involvement, the major negative prognostic factor, determines stage three. Micrometastasis were diagnosed after sentinel lymph node biopsy and macrometastases are clinical or imaging detected. No specific size to detect micro or macrometastases. Also, the number of involved nodes are very important and defines N1 to N3. Finally, patients with distant metastases are subclassified according to the site of the disease and the LDH level. Next, please. Well, the NM groups then patients in four stages, stage 1A and 1B, were defined according to thickness, mitotic rate, and ulceration, including T1A, T1B, and T2A, and no regional or distant metastasis. The stage 2, A, B, or C are thicker than stage 1, of course, and also negative lymph nodes. Next, please. The stage three includes, yes, includes patients with positive nodes in sentinel lymph node biopsy or macrometastasis. The number of lymph nodes is important and determines the end stage. A determines micrometastasis and B, macrometastasis. Finally, the stage four, 